try to lift this lead out of here. coming up. Go. It's coming out slowly but surely. It kind of crashed over on its side, didn't it? That's enough to get that loose, and then we'll do the other side. I had to use this pry bar to try to wedge it up to get it out of there. I think I need better uh, winch handles. Those are just for like a boat trailer. They were pretty cheap. But it's working. It's working. Theoretically, she'd be the lighter end. Part of the reason this was so hard to bring up is because the uh, part on the right there, the support underneath, actually got pulled loose. You'll see a little piece of the one by board still stuck in the ground underneath there. See what happened? That that board broke over there. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's too heavy. <laughs> Down the hole. Do you think you can lower that down? It's going the other way. I have to flip that switch. So we got it out of the ground, and we got those two little 
copper vent pipes off of the back and they do have lead in them a little bit it's funny they're like way heavier than than they were and I got that one top board off of there you could see it laying back up there upside down and just charred the inside of that thing I even had a hard time getting some of the screws out they just kept wanting to strip I got them all out except for except for that one that's sticking up so anyway I was real concerned that maybe the lead didn't fill all the way back into the back there but clearly it did uh, and I think it looks really good it won't take much to clean that up and square it up um, I think we're good they were cleaning up mold that got on the ground and and really it's very easy to get up it's pretty well contained and uh, I had a bucket of shavings anyway so it's all going back in there so we may use some of that later when we have to uh, put a little bit of lead in the center board so anyway pretty happy nice success so I was able to flip the mold over and it is actually now right side up all those this is the bottom of the of the mold and I've got all the screws out for both of the sides and before I turn it over I got the, the little cross pieces out and uh, it looks like part of the woods pulling apart here away from the away from the lead uh, I just want to make a couple of comments about the mold itself uh, that's a a whole nother video back in oh I don't know episode 41 or 43 I can't remember which one but I used uh, a one by four pieces here as to be the bottom of it to for it to set on to rest on and you can see that they uh, they tried to bed I should have braced that up a little bit with with either some pieces inside or some uh, uh, pieces of uh, metal little angle hardware anything that would have held that a little better when it had so much weight in it th those failed in fact the one on the front came off completely uh, you can maybe see the screws sticking up they used to hold it um, the plan called for using I believe one but two by uh, lumber and I use this one by and so um, it worked but I would do that a little differently in the future so anyway um, gonna I got all the screws out I'm gonna try to pop these off of here and see what this looks like we'll look at that again here in a minute So we got all the boards off of there, and the keel looks pretty good. Um, we really filled up the mold pretty nicely, and now I'm trying to get the pieces of wood in there that are for the center board slot, and uh, these are proven to be a little difficult to get out. Um, some of the lead had uh, migrated underneath those boards on, under the bottom to where you can see that, the, that it's not cleanly exposed and it's better now than it was. I took my power plane and uh, been kind of cleaning it up which I needed to do anyway and uh, was really pretty. Anyway so um, I'm going to take a hammer and a couple of little pieces of oak and see if I can beat that thing out of there. I hope that works. We'll see got a piece out I made a nice slot and the rest of it's coming I had to drill holes through it so I got this great big drill bit and I drilled a couple of holes you can see up here in this end there I drilled some holes right up there close to the end of it I had to take that chisel and and uh, kind of get it squared up and it's still gonna be a little rough but now I got a little oak block there that's just about the right width. And back here, I drilled a hole right there. 
And then I took the Sawzall and I kind of cleaned that up. And then I only had whatever that is, maybe eight, ten inches there. And I just put this little oak block on there, ball peen hammer, and beat it out of there. And it just came right out. And what I noticed when I got it out of there, there's the piece right there. It split off another piece that where I hadn't drilled all the way through. It was still connected. See my drill hole there? And so part of the bottom of this, you can't see it from here, is already out of there. And so I'm going to take this ball peen hammer beat this in here. I don't know if I can hold the camera and do it at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Okay, we'll take another picture when we get done. Okay, I got it out of there. Part of the problem was is I had used two pieces of one by to make my inch and a half slot. And uh, I might have been better with a solid piece of wood in the middle of the mold because the lead would find its way into the cracks. You see that little piece of lead sticking up right there? That was in between the two boards. And even here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's really bright out here. There's, there's a piece of lead right there. I'm going to have to take the chisel and get that off of there. But that was actually in between those two boards. But hallelujah, look at that did it well that's cool all right now we got to figure out how to move it well we got it cleaned up there it is it needs to be smoothed out a little bit more but we have a keel